In this video, I'm going to give you my detailed review of the Welch Allen Harvey DLX Navy Blue Stethoscope and by the end, you're going to know if this beauty is the one for you. What's up guys, Nurse Jenny here from Nurse Jenny Reviews where I give you my honest opinion so that you can make an informed choice. If you've seen one of my videos before, welcome back, it is awesome to have you. If you're new here and like me are into all things nursing, consider subscribing. And guys, do me a favor, if this video is at all helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Let's get into the video. In this review, I will be talking about the Welch Allen Harvey DLX Navy Blue Stethoscope and as usual I'm going to be reviewing 10 aspects and give it a score out of 5 in each aspect so by the end I'm going to have a score out of 50. Acoustics. Now this stethoscope has got a dual lumen channel so it's got two uninterrupted channels one into each ear. Now I am yet to find a stethoscope with a dual lumen tubing that I haven't given a 5 out of 5 star, so I've given it a 5 out of 5. Ear tip comfort. Now Welch Allen marketed these ear tips as soft sealing ear tips. To me they are not as soft as they could be and they're quite small and hurt my ears. So I prefer them to be uh, a little bit bigger to create a better seal. They're also a screw on and off and I don't like that feature as well because they do screw off at work and you lose them. So I have given it a 1 out of 5. Weight. This stethoscope weighs 228 grams which is about 8 ounces. And for me personally that is way too heavy to have around my neck all day so I've given it a 1 out of 5. Price. I paid 220 US dollars for this stethoscope and I thought it would arrive with a lot of bells and whistles but it didn't. The value for money just isn't there for me so I've given it a 2 out of 5. Because I buy and review so many stethoscopes I run frequent giveaways, I don't just have them all here at home collecting dust. So if you want the chance to win you can find the link for that in the show notes and uh, if you enter good luck. Tubing length. The length of this tubing is 72 centimeters, which is 28 inches. And for me, it could be a little touch longer, but it is a quite a nice length. So I've given it a four out of five. Tubing feel. The tubing is nice and soft. It is not too flimsy and the tubing is not too thick, but it is a little bit sticky on my neck. I've given it a three and a half out of five. Stethoscope design. The Welch Allen Harvey DLX stethoscope um, has got a trumpet brass construction chest piece that's what they call it and what they say on their website is that um, with trumpet brass construction the Harvey DLX helps you hear more of the important cardiac pulmonary and vascular sounds without relying on difficult variable pressure techniques the chest piece is turnable and it has got these little wing design here below the stem which I quite like that design and it's quite pretty when you want to swap from your adult side to the bell, you do have to make sure that you hold these wings and that you hear the snap. It has got the little indicator dot there so you also know what side is on. But I'm saying this because if you only hold the tubing and you turn the chest piece, it just turns with the tubing. It doesn't actually change the side so you've got to make sure that you hold the wings when you do it. The adult side of the diaphragm actually screws off and on like that but it can also screw off the whole housing of the diaphragm like that and it screws back on like that and on this trumpet looking side the bell side it also screws off and back on it doesn't as you can see come with a non chill rim which was a little bit of a minus for me but it's a quite a unique chest piece and it looks like a trumpet. The tubing is dual lumen, which makes for great acoustics, as I mentioned earlier. And you come up, we've got the binaurals, which are rotatable binaurals. They can rotate all the way around so that you can adjust the angle that you prefer for your own ears. The tension of the binaurals you can adjust as well, just by pushing in or pulling apart. And then we've got the ear tips that are screw off and on, which in my book is a bit of a negative because you can lose them quite easily when they are screw off. Um, I've given it a score of 3 out of 5. Spare kit. In the spare kit you will get a name tag, a user manual, 
a CD that has got heart sounds on it, so you can practice listening to heart sounds. And you will also get a spare flat diaphragm that replaces the corrugated diaphragm here. Now, the corrugated diaphragm, they say, is better for low frequency sounds, and the flat one is better for high frequency sounds. I've given it a two and a half out of five. Warranty. Now, in the user manual, it states that you get a five year warranty with this stethoscope, but after researching this on the internet, it says that you get a 10 year warranty. But I'm gonna base it on the warranty that I get in my user manual when I bought the stethoscope. So for that reason, I've given it a four out of five. Buying experience. I received this stethoscope in this box, and opening it up, you can see that there's a section here where the CD goes and the spare kit sits in there. Now the user manual um, doesn't actually have a spot that fits in here at all. It just sits on top and falls out when you open the box. Now for the money that I paid, I would just uh, think that I would have gotten something of better quality. So for that reason, I've given it a two out of five. The Welch Allen Harvey DLX Navy Blue Stethoscope has received a total score of 28 out of 50. The positives about this stethoscope is that it has got a dual lumen tubing which gives a great acoustics and the little wing feature on the stem is quite nice and I really like it and the overall trumpet feature of the whole stethoscope chest piece is really unique. What lets it down for me is the overall weight of the stethoscope. The chest piece is really heavy and the adult side of the chest piece screws off and on as same as with the bell and you can lose them quite easily as they start screwing off by themselves. Same goes for the ear tips. They are also screw off and on and you can lose them as well and the ear tips are for my liking too hard and too small. I also find that I keep readjusting the tension of the binaurals. It doesn't stay where I've adjusted it previously so I keep having to do that which is quite annoying. So who would this stethoscope be good for? I wouldn't personally recommend this stethoscope to a student nurse or a new nurse or any nurse unless you are a cardiology nurse and you like this unique trumpet style. The money that you pay and the value that you get just isn't there. Thank you guys for watching my video. I will see you on the next one and remember as always, listen with your heart.